So today I have a slightly different video for you guys. All right, this video is based on an SBA that was done for agricultural science and any agricultural science student out there would know what this SBA entails. This one is about slaughtering uh, the bird for for your max for your SBA max. Okay, so this is what we look we're looking at. Okay, so so first and foremost, you have to of course hold the bird properly all right you have to make sure that you have a sharp knife and you don't want to you know you don't want you want it to be a merciful killing you don't really want it to be too too too, too um, traumatic for the bird so first you have to get a nice sharp knife and you have to hold the wings carefully because nobody wants broken chicken wings at the end of the day you don't want any broken chicken wings so you hold the wings carefully you take your sharp knife and you get it ready to you know give the neck a clean cut all right, so this is one of the most fun SBAs out there, as any of you agriculture students would attest to. This is one of the, the most fun SBAs out there. Okay, so here we this is one of the, the highlights of the agricultural science syllabus. All right, so if you look at what's going on here, you got a sharp knife and the holy wings properly. This is a two man. This is a two man effort, and look at what's going on on the screen. Okay. Now you sh the somebody be two y'all holding the bird. Somebody hold it back with the wings pinned down, and somebody cut sharp and quick. If you let go, then that's what would happen. This is what's going on there. The bird was barely cut, and so it started fluttering. Now the instructor had to come in and basically save the day. Okay, you don't want to mess up yourself. You be blood gonna be splattering all about. So you have to hold it down. It's a two man team. You have to work together, and you hold it down until the bird stops kicking. But here again. Yeah, those are two students two students going up to you know do their SBS for their grade one has a sharp knife you you say the instructor telling them exactly where they should put the knife and how sharp the knife should be all right so let's look at it here nice cut you hold on to the bird this now the problem here is that the wings will let go again so that can cause the wings to break and excess fluttering can cause of course your clothes will get really really messed up okay so you have to hold it properly all right so they did not do that so you know you would get a little great a little you know dropping points for that the next step is to dip the bird the dead bird now in hot water because the hot water helps it help makes it easier to defeather the bird right here okay so once it was dipping hot water you start plucking off the feathers and normally we tell you start with the wings because they tend to be a little harder to pick when the the bird is cold. So while it's, while it's hot, the water is still hot. You pick the wings first to get those tough, tough, you know, uh, feathers off, and then you can go about the body. Now we have the end result. It would have been washed before. Now we have the instructor detaching the neck and loosening up some muscles so that the students can basically pull the insides of the bird out to clean up the guts. You see some of the guts up there already. The instructor would have come and clip off the, the, the toes, the, the chicken feet. I know some of y'all in different islands have those as a delicacy, but here, nah, we don't touch the chicken feet. We don't eat them thing at all. That's the garbage. All right, so you have a student there digging in to clean up the inside the guts of the bird. Okay, it's very warm inside according to them, very warm inside. So you have to dip your hand deep down and just scoop, just scoop out the inside. Okay, we have some, you know, some nervous children and everybody uh, constitution is that high. Some people get nervous about these things, but you have to do it still because that's part of your max. You're going to get graded for that. For those who are squeamish, I'm sorry, but that's part of the agriculture syllabus. If you are vegan or whatever, well, then you could be the one holding it. Okay, here comes some of the guts and you can see some flies boozing around because, you know, it's a not pleasant smell. Okay, after you would have gutted it now completely clip the, the feet and everything then what you would do is of course you're making sure everything is clean you know as it should you got it once the gut is out then you wash it off and then it's basically ready for the market okay the feathers are plucked the feet are cut the guts are clean the head is gone so now this bird is now ready to be washed and placed in container for sale but for now, that's all. That's just the basic steps in that SBA. Thanks for watching.